Hey y'all, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika with All of Shamika and I am back with another video. If this is your very first time checking out a video of mine. Welcome to the channel, love. Hope that you consider subscribing by the end of this video, making sure to turn that red button gray and add the D to the end of it. If you are not a new subscriber and you're one of my returning subscribers, welcome back, love, love. We back with another video. We are going to be stuffing our cash envelopes and I was thinking for us, so if you're interested in seeing that, then stay tuned. Okay, so we got a lot of new stuff that we got to discuss. I'm going to try to go through this real, real quick. If you don't want to see this part, I'm going to leave timestamps down below or on the screen so that you can just fast forward past all this randomness. But I have new cash envelopes. I have new envelopes. It's just a whole lot of new, new over here. I'm looking for the funds. Where did the money go? Y'all, I just had the monies. I just had the monies. Where did I put it? Hold on. Because this is just crazy. Girl, when I tell y'all, I legit almost just had a heart attack. I'm like, where is that wallet of money? Where is that envelope of money at? Fine. All right, so we are going to be stuffing a total of $395 in our cash envelopes let me just take these tens fives twenties and one hundred dollar bill so that's what we're going to be stuffing up first like i said i have some new envelopes i want to give a special 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 shout out because this was not my idea and i like to give you know i like to let y'all know where i got this idea from i got this idea of doing this little wallet i'm very i go to work every day y'all know i do the military so i can't wear like what um regular day like as a civilian so i have to bring something that i know is going to work very like compact so I was watching Beautifully Me and You, and she does her envelopes in a little wallet like this. So of course I got on Amazon, went and found the wallet, and then I made me some envelopes to go inside of it. So this is my new and improved cash envelope wallet with some new envelopes. This has to go in my $5 and $1 challenge. This was the money left over from the last paycheck. And then that's all we got in here. So, yes, y'all, this also has to go over there. Any money I had left over, which was $31, I am putting in that $1, $5 challenge box. So, I did not include that in this budget, which you would have seen in my budget with me video. So, I got some new envelopes. All right, so because I have these already out, I'm going to go ahead and stuff them Something I realized when I was making them and I just have not fixed yet was that I did two envelopes for allowance and beauty when I normally use one for the same one. But in allowance, aka beauty, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in this one for my allowance and I'm going to use this one for eating out because I did not make an eating out envelope. I don't know what I was thinking. So in my allowance, I'm going to give myself, I got to look at my breakdown. I am giving myself $50 and that is going to get two 20s and a 10. I try not to put too many bills in this because the envelopes are small so they sh they can't hold as much money. But I've had this for about a month now and so far so good. I really really like this method um, especially when I have to just get up and go to work very quick and not be in my uniform. All right, and when I'm in my uniform, this is something that will last and will hold my money. Look how cute it is. It's so cute. All right, next up, like I said, is I'm just use the ones I have in front of me, and that is going. To, it's going to be my gas, and gas is going to get seventy dollars. And in my gas envelope, I'm going to be putting twenty, forty, fifty. I'm just going to do two 20s or three 20s and a 10, 20, 40, 60, 70. Just realized I did not break this down right. So we might run out of some months, some denomination. So I'm going to start small and go up. So that's how much gas is getting. Gas is only getting $70 this paycheck. And then miscellaneous is just going to get $20. So I'm going to take two 10s for that. 
which is also my unbudgeted all right and then next up is our household and household is going to get thirty dollars so i'm gonna take a 20 and a 10. And this camera up top is getting ready to die on me. Hopefully I can get through this part without it dying. And then for our gas, our groceries is going to get $120. So I'm going to take 120 This one I'm going to take. And then for eating out, eating out is going to get $30 as well. And I'm going to take three tens for that. And again, I'm just going to put our eating out in this allowance envelope. And then moving right along, those are all stuff. So I'm going to throw those back into the wallet. I have some other new envelopes. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So in my daughter's envelope, she's just going to get $5 for her allowance. I talked about why in my budget with me. So check that video out. Malachi is also going to get $5. And then his haircut gets $30. And again, he'll go to airplanes. It's the weekend now, so they plan. Okay, I'm back. So like I was saying, Malachi's haircut is getting $30. I forgot that he had $30 in here, or he had $20 in here already, but that's fine. And then last but not least is going to be our car emergency fund. I talked about why I am even doing this emergency fund. So please go check that video out. And that is going to get $20 in my car emergency fund. And baby, that's my cash envelopes. Nice, quick, and easy. I want to talk about the envelopes very, very quickly. I am still on the fence if I'm going to list these or not, but I wanted to create some because I'm getting ready to revamp all of my second funds for, you know, the later part of the year, and I'm just really on this kind of brown vibe. Um, so by the time this video goes up, I should have already had them listed in the shop, but I am going to offer them in the Happy Planner hole punch. You can get them six hole punch. You cannot have them hole punch. You can put any word on here. Right now, I am just going to stick with the Ray Dunn inspired um, titles because I really feel like it looks really, really neat and clean. And then the dolls, I will have every doll that I've ever put on any binder available because I'm simply just printing this out on vellum or acetate, one of those two, and laminating them in five milliliter um, laminating paper. So it's nice and thick. So... If you are interested in that, check the shop out. If I have not listed them by the time I'm saying all this, be on the lookout for it. Um, maybe for the holidays, like Black Friday or something like that. Cash envelopes are all stuff. I'm going to throw these back into my wallet. And I'm going to get set up so that we can now do our sinking funds. So stay tuned for that. All right, let's get into stuffing our sinking funds. And we are going to first start with, first we're going to take a sip of my cranberry juice. Y'all, that'd be so good. I'm going to set the other two binders up here, kind of out of the way. There we go. All right, so we're going to do our savings binders first our savings first and in our savings we are going to be adding $115 to our house envelope I will be making some changes to my sinking funds next year starting with the money that I am using hint hint catch my drift um I'll talk more about that in another video but I am going to be making changes to my sinking funds and the way that I do them next year and just kind of make sure because while this worked for me I want to play around with different things that does work for me and then find the ultimate one that is going to work forever, like long term. So we added 115. We now have $10,948.12. Baby, we almost at 11,000. My goal for this year was 10 and we already about to hit 11K in our house fund. So I'm so excited about that. 
Um, for our 52 week challenge, we are still in the week uh, 41, I believe. But again, I stuff my 52 week challenge on a monthly basis, so like, or bi weekly, so every two weeks, first and the 15th is how I stuff it. So for this one, it is going to get $80. I'm telling you, it's the weekend, and they being so disrespectful. Like, come on now. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to record a video. And then for her penny challenge, penny challenge is going to get $50. And we now have $565 in our penny challenge. As far as 52 week challenge, I will leave it on the screen. That's how much we have for that. And then I told you how much was in our house envelope there. So that one's out of the way. I'm going to switch me an envelope out, a binder out. In our sinking funds, which is houses, it's just in alphabet alphabetical order. Amazon is not getting anything that has $155. Back to school will get $20, and that now has $1024. I remember a comment, and when I find it, I'm going to leave it on the screen. She asked me what was the goals. He or she, I think it was a female, asked me what were my goals for sinking funds this year. I have hit some of them, but again, I use my second fund. So I think next year I'm going to separate them into hard and soft. So the soft ones I actually like use on the regular, but my hard funds, I want to, my hard second funds, I want to kind of separate them into the binders so that we can actually work towards a goal. While I was working towards a goal for most of them, I have spent money in them. But that was the purpose of saving up for the sinking fund. So I hope that kind of answered your question, love. Um, but I I made my goals, but I really just made them just to just to give me something to reach for. I guess that may if that makes sense. Just to give me an idea, like, oh, I want to say 2000 tourists, the like black beauty envelope. But I knew I had to renew my registration this year and a bunch of other stuff. So I guess the goals were just something for me to aspire, inspire, to, or aspire, aspire. I think that's the word. To reach toward something for the year. So, 1024 was in back to school. Long story short, that's what it was for. Black Beauty, 1478. Once I add $20 to it. So, I hope that answers your question, boom. Because when we get to the end of the year and I see and I like reflect back, obviously it's going to show that some of my goals I didn't hit. But I did hit them. I just used the money, which was the intended purpose of the saving. Then for my son's birthday, moving along, he's going to get $10. And he now has $300 for his birthday for next year. So for 2021. So we can probably stop stuff in that one. Um, I now have $18.89 in my Christmas envelope. Once I add the $50, so that's there. Christmas had a goal of $12,000, but we are going home for Christmas. So the other, however they add up, $12,000, $12,000 from $18,89, whatever that is. That's how much we had left, and that's going to go towards helping us get home or um, spending, spending money for Christmas because all of the Christmas stuff is paid for, um, including half of the Airbnb, which we got to pay the other half. So, cruise for next year, not cruise, but it's our 2022 vacation. That's why I want to revamp my envelopes. That is going to get $50 because I need to update my envelopes. And now that's going to have $840 in there. And then we are taking a trip in 2023 with my mom, with my parents, my sisters, their kids. It's going to be like a family vacation. And so we're planning that now. And I'm in charge of the finances for that trip. So I went ahead and found out how much everybody needs to send me to start saving up for that. So I'm putting $50 in here. So we totaled it up to be like $56 per person or per family every month. Because there's four of us, four families going. And so we're all going to stay in like a nice little cabin. It's going to be super fun. And so that's the plan there. And um, I started it for January 1st, but I'm stuffing a little bit early just so I can start saving the money now. Um, for dental, which is my kids, dental like insurance, the military pays for some of it, but they don't cover any of those unnecessary like other fees. So I'm just putting $40 in here and now we have a total of $305. We had $100 in the 2023 vacation. 
there and then holidays is going to receive twenty dollars holidays i got another question in regards to my holidays i have like holidays birthdays christmas all these different envelopes i have a lot of second funds my holidays is for those sinking funds or those holidays that come up like 4th of July. Maybe you want to decorate for Christmas. Maybe you want to decorate for Halloween. Um, get the kids Christmas or Halloween costumes. That's what all this what this envelope is for. This encompasses all holidays. But I like to separate my kids' birthdays separate from that. I like to separate Christmas separate from that and so on and so forth. So that covers all of the holidays that, you know, Thanksgiving buying food for Thanksgiving that way I don't have to pull it out of my grocery fund and then that part so I hope that answers your question too boo so ten dollars is going into ink and we are done with this binder we now have a hundred and six dollars in our ink and then we have nine hundred and eighty nine dollars in our holiday fund and ink is just for my printer um, printer ink if my sales don't go as, as planned and I need some ink or if I forget you know I just like to have an additional you know set of a pot of money for my ink if I run out of ink in my printer I buy it from Costco so it really lasts for a long time so kids clothes has $600 once we add $20 in there with the season and the weather changing I'll probably be spending some of this um, especially when we go home for Christmas um see i need new envelopes girl that's why we gonna switch the envelopes out so the next video they gonna all be gone new eyebrows because i want my eyebrows microbladed again and so this is going to be 50 dollars. it's been like since 2018 and so i want them microbladed again but i'm saving up for it this time so that now has 275 dollars my clothing i just put 10 dollars towards I was just on Fashion Nova this morning or the other day looking at some stuff because I need to just revamp my closet now that it's fall and the weather's starting to change a little bit in California. So I kind of want to bundle up and be kind of cute to do. So my clothes now has $173. My daughter's birthday, which is coming up, she I'm going to add $10 to this. Um, we did spend some of the money which you all will see what I purchased her in her birthday vlog coming later this month or first part of next month. But she now has $333. I'm still spending some of her money. I think I spent $80 already, 50, so 130. I spent about $200 already just grabbing some things for her. Um, and then her dad and I are planning something for her birthday. He's gonna come down and we're just gonna do something for her here in um, California. So she has 333. New uniforms is just going to get $10 and that's $210. And that is just my military uniforms. Now boarding is getting $100. We got to kind of build this one back up. That is the purpose of this envelope. Is to purchase our plane tickets or any um, miscellaneous um, travel items. So that's getting $100. That now has $597. Planner things is going to get $10. This one was completely wiped out. So, so Creations is going to get $20. Again, this one was another one that was completely wiped out. Alrighty. And then Passports, $300. YouTube is going to get $10. So, so Creations had $20 because we didn't have any money left. YouTube has $10. Um, and then my Emergency Fund is getting $300. It now has $32.43. I did have to spend some of my Emergency Fund for an emergency. And so... We had to pull $500 from that, but it's okay. That's why it's there, and I'm just going to build it back up. No big deal. It, it didn't really hurt that bad to pull the money out, but it happens. So that is the $300 there. So I'm going to add $300 back to that, and we're just going to build it back up. No big deal. And all of my sinking funds and my cash envelopes are stuffed. So I hope that you all enjoy this video. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. I love answering y'all questions whenever I do my videos. If anything does come up and you got an idea, 
um, a suggestion. I am always open to suggestions. Please don't feel like you can't give me a suggestion or tell me something. I don't take it personal. I listen and I actually take it in. Um, so I really appreciate each and every one of you watching my videos. If this was your very first time watching a video of mine, I hope that you consider subscribing, boo. And if not, maybe another video on my channel will catch your attention enough to turn that red button gray. But if you are a returning subscriber, I will see you in another video. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. And I will see y'all later. Bye. Don't forget to check out my shop or turn or go love my shop so you can be notified whenever I do upload those new and improved envelopes. All right. See you later. Bye.